there, Glowforge friends, and all my 3D printing friends as well. This is my table where I put all the cool things that I print so the kids can check them out, come up with thoughts of what they want to print. Uh, this is an interesting design that a student gave me a while back, uh, where it's two cats that are mirror images of each other. The design is pretty cool. You've got the cat that's sunk in, and then you've got the cat that's raised. And uh, it was pretty epic, but there was no hole. So on Thingiverse, I did a modification and put the hole, and I'll put that link in there as well. But I had printed it a few times without the hole. And I got the idea this morning, what if I cut the hole and put some words on the back using the Glowforge? So let's see if the Glowforge can actually cut PLA. All right, I've already designed a whole SVG, and now I'm making a second uh, word, because I figure why not try and cut a word into my PLA as well, or score a word is the correct way. So I download this cute little design as a SVG, and then let's switch to the Glowforge, and you can see I have brought them in. So I've got the word perfect that I'm going to drop in the middle of my little design and I'm putting these on the back and then I've got the little hole that I want to cut out I find that if you're grabbing something small if you click somewhere else it's easier to grab the item and put it where you want it's not going to be measured perfectly but I'm pretty flexible so I'm not worried about it I'm gonna cut the circle or I'm gonna set the circle settings first I'm gonna have it do three passes I know that my little keychain was two millimeters thick and I'm going to set the power at 40%, and I'm going to set the speed at 500. I'm kind of wondering how much this is going to melt or not melt, so I'm not sure what the results are going to be. When you bring in a design from Google Drawings, it has a rectangular a clip path that can't be used, so I simply hit ignore. All right, so let's check the edge of my words. I'm going to do those with a score. I'm going to have it be manual. I'm going to have it do it 500 precision power of 10. And I'm going to do one passes. I'm going to change this to 2 millimeters. We're going to just try 415, one pass, and that same 2 millimeter setting uh, for the focus height. So we've got our parts in place. And let's hit print. I'm going to move this up just a hair and see what we get. And I think that's the record for my fastest cut ever, less than one minute. Almost not enough time to speed up the time lapse, but I couldn't help myself. So check it out, my friends. Uh, it cut the words in there, kind of neat. Uh, you can see where it paused on the corners, and that made the letters turn out funny. This was a glitch from when I printed it off the bed. If we look closely at the hole, it looks like it cut pretty well but I put it over top of the little eye so it didn't cut all the way through. Let's see what happens though if we just take a hammer and we poke it through on that hole of my vise. And holy mackerel! So one simple tap from the hammer and that's a pretty clean cut. So I guess we have proven you can take PLA and run it through the glow core. Hey there friends, so there you have it. Proof that you can cut PLA on the Glowforge laser cutter. I'm not sure if there really is a good use for this, but hey, at least we know we can. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.